Welcome to Inside the Nest, where you get a bird's eye view of everything that's going on here at GCT Intermediate. Hello, I'm Jack C. And I'm Peyton Thacker. And here's today's news. On September 15th, Miss Mayberry's class channeled their inner caveman and cave lady, creating artwork using only what they had access to in nature. They had to use their primitive instincts to try and create an image using just what was laying on the ground. The students viewed a couple of artworks by modern artist Andy Goldsworthy and used inspiration from his artwork to create images using sticks, leaves, and rocks. It was a lovely day. The students had an absolute blast. Mayberry for doing this project with the students and sharing those pictures with us. With COVID-19 came a lot of changes for our students. One of those changes was how students sat at the cafeteria for lunch. Here's Garrett Jones with some of the students to get their reaction to this change. How do you feel about all lunch now since the coronavirus has changed it? I feel like Thank you, Garrett. COVID hasn't just changed our students' lives, but it has affected our teachers and the way they teach. Here's Cambria Hurt with that story. I prefer for my students to be in groups. I like for them to be able to talk to each other and work together. So it's not my favorite, but I understand why we have to do it. Um, the seating changes have been an adjustment. Um, I wouldn't say that I love it, but I wouldn't say that I hate it. Um, hopefully in the future, we'll be able to get our groups back together, but until now, we'll just make the best of it. I don't really like it. I like to have the kids in groups and work together to do Thank you, Cambria, and thank you, te teachers, for all your hard work. You are doing a great job. Now for our knee slapper segment. Everyone enjoys a great joke. Here's Lily McNeil and Isaac Gable with a few of your Eagle family members that are going to try to make you laugh. Here's Jet Branch with his joke. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo who? Boo. Gemma Benedict with her joke. What do you call sleeping bull? What? A bulldozer. Here's Alex Walker with his joke. Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? I don't know. To get fillings. Here's Carson Camp with his joke. How did the wave do the lifeguard? What? Nothing. I just wave. <laughs> Thank you guys for those knee slippers. Now for upcoming events. Celebrate Freedom Week is scheduled for the week of September 21st to through 25th. This is an official holiday week celebrated by five U.S. states. Celebrate Freedom Week is a week designed to emphasize the teaching in, in the country, of the country's origin and with an emphasis on the founding documents. 
Now for our weekly spotlight. Due to leaving school early last year, our fourth grade pay students were unable to finish their music parodies for the year. A music parody is when you take a popular song and change the lyrics to something totally different, usually on the humorous side. Those students are now fifth graders and they have been working all week to complete those projects. Here are the end results. We hope you enjoy. Kids are 
For this week's version of Inside the Nest, follow us each week to get an inside scoop at GCT Intermediate. Remember, if you have a story you would like to share, please contact us and we would be happy to report on your events. Have a great day. Okay, bye. bye.